Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Frosty and today I will be showing you how to find the Lost River in Subnautica. The Lost River in Subnautica is a very important thing as it gives you uh, a lot of valuable resources that you are definitely going to need to make progress in Subnautica. In the Lost River you can find um, nickel ore which is needed for the prawn suit um, depth module and I don't know if it's needed for the um, Cyclops death module uh, but okay <laughs> um, it will also give you if you go deeper in the Lost River it will also give you kyanite and um, you can find deep shrooms as well but that's not really what we're here for today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a beacon um, so that you can find the Lost River easily whenever you want so right now as you can see I'm looking at the back of the Aurora and um, how to, if you want to find the Lost River, it's very easy if you get the compass upgrade, or the comp compass, um, which can be found right here. Sorry, this one. Um, if you just craft the compass, I'll just board my escape pod. If you go to your fabricator, you can go to personal equipment. Here you can find the compass. You can craft it with copper wire and one wiring kit. If you have that, it will automatically um, put it on you right here and um, you will get a compass on your HUD which uh, shows right beneath your depth meat. So when you have the compass you're going to want to look northeast about here. If you don't have a compass just look at the back of the Aurora and go ahead and look to about here. Alright so let's get my Seamoth. So we're going to turn around and we're going to look northeast. Okay, so just for the sake of this video, I've turned off uh, damage. Um, normally, you cannot enter the um, the Lost River without a Cyclops. You're going to need a Cyclops to enter the Lost River because a Seamoth usually cannot go this deep. But just for the sake of the video and to make it uh, a lot easier for me and for you to, um, to look where I'm going, I've turned off uh, no damage. Alright, so when you're in your Seamoth, you want to go again northeast, and I'm going to stick close to the ground so you can easily look at where I'm actually going. Another uh, useful thing is uh, to get the reinforced, no, sorry, the radiation suit, um, because it. I think we are actually going to pass uh, a piece where there is uh, radiation. So, in that sense, a radiation suit is needed to go there. Right. So just keep going northeast, and if you see these kind of shroom trees, I don't really know what they are, with tables on them, then you know you're good. And again, just keep going northeast. And eventually we'll see, you'll see these blue things, I don't, I don't know the name of them, I forgot it, but... If you see these blue things, yeah, you know you're right and that you're almost there. You will also find this creature near the Lost River. So now you're going to go deeper. Right, so when you have approached in this arch right here, you're going to want to go north. Something. 
until you see um, this kind of well, how should I call it? I don't know how to call it. Until you see this cliff right here. If you see this, you can get out of your sea moth and then you can plant a or set up a beacon. So I've already set one up. Um, so I'm just going to turn it on. As you can see, it's right here. So I'll just move to it. And as you can see, here's the, the cliff, is the point. There's a sea moth. So if you just go down here and then just plant your your um, sea moth, I'm sorry, your beacon, then uh, that's all right. And then you can always find the, uh, the Lost River. All right, so once you are here at your beacon with your... Uh, Cyclops, you're going to want to head all the way down, and you're going to want to head west into this large cave. Right, I've just make, made a day just for your convenience. So then you want to go to head. You want to go further west. And you're going to stick to the left side of the uh, cave because sooner or later you will approach a ghost leviathan. And if the screen starts turning green from the acid, then you know that you are in the, um, in the Lost River. And there you go. As you can see, we're now in the Lost River. So in the Lost River, you again will find very useful and um, valuable resources like the gel sacks, rubies, nickel, and if you go a bit deeper into the Lost River, you can also you are also going to find um, kyanite. Gel sacks and rubies are needed for aerogel, and aerogel is needed for a variety of very important um, advanced materials. Alright, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, found it very useful, and I hope you're now able to locate the Lost River, set up a beacon, and get your very valuable resources. If you have any more questions, you can of course always leave them in the comments. And if you would like to see more of these Subnautica tutorials, then you're always free to subscribe to my channel. So for now, See you in the next one. Bye-bye.